We are heading out for spring break. This trip is starting just like Christmas break did, severe weather. This time it's not a blizzard. We're gonna try to avoid hail, high winds, and potential tornadoes, and we're literally gonna have to thread a needle. So stay tuned, come along with us. First thing we have to do, go pick up Patty. Today's our last day before spring break. We got her. I'm here, and You're... it's time to go. Are you ready for spring break? Oh my gosh, yes. We have arrived for the night. It's early, seven o'clock. We're in Dayton, Ohio. So if we go any further, we get ourselves into a situation for severe weather tonight. And when I say tonight, actually tomorrow morning, like three, four, five a.m. So we decided to stop here. We're gonna grab dinner and then hopefully um, we'll head out of here in the morning uh, right after the storms go through. And then tomorrow afternoon, they're calling for high wind warnings in Kentucky and Tennessee. So the idea is to kind of sneak through in between the severe weather in the early morning and then the high winds uh, after lunchtime. So, you know, sometimes you only make it three hours, but at least we're on the road. And so now it's time to go in, get our Cracker Barrel order placed, have dinner. All right, it is 4.45. Are no, you sure? No, what time is it? I don't know. Five it can't thirty. Five thirty. Okay. Let me try that again. <laughs> cut, just cut that part out, Patrick. Just cut it out. It is. Five thirty. We are getting close to being ready to pack up and head out. The uh, <coughs> it looks like the uh, storms have moved through Kentucky, so now we can get on the road. Try to slip through there before this afternoon's gusty <laughs> winds come in. So, hey, Patty. <laughs> I'm gagging on my drink. <laughs> what? <coughs> I told you not to be putting vodka in the orange juice this early in the morning. So are you ready to hit the road? We got about 12 or 13 hours in front of us. Vacation, baby. Vacation? What? It's going to be adventure. worth it? It's going to be worth it. Uh-huh. You two ready to go? You ready to head to South Carolina? Oh, oh we gave away where we're going. We have made it. Somehow we turned what should have been a 12 hour drive into a 14 hour drive. It all started about eight miles from the 640 going into Knoxville where there was a wreck. It took us an hour to literally go eight miles. Then we dealt with high wind warnings all day, super gusty winds, so that slowed us down. Then there was road construction uh, outside of Asheville and also in South Carolina to where we were right up against concrete barriers and so we had to slow it down, plus it was a lot of stop and go. And then if that wasn't enough, the final 15 miles became torrential downpours in the dark where it was actually puddling so bad that it was pulling the truck off to the side of the road. We're here, we're glad we're here, and now I suppose you're wondering where is here? We are in Bluffton, South Carolina at the Hilton Head National Golf and RV Resort. We're set up, I'm tired, I think it's time to call it a night, and we'll see everybody in the morning. Good morning. Ooh. We got some good sleep last night. After that long 14 hour drive, it feels good to get a little sleep. And uh, so yeah, we are in the dog park. It feels good not to be in the truck. <laughs> that was a long day in the truck. Does it also feel good to be in shorts? Shorts, summer gear, yeah. <laughs> it's been since Christmas, right? Since Christmas, since we've got On the On Christmas shorts. vacation, yeah. Look, you see? Look. Want some? Looky. Baba, look. I think they think I'm giving them poison. Yeah, they act like, like poison, <laughs> don't drink it. They don't trust her. We're in Bluffton. I'm just happy to be in summer gear. I'm just happy it's Bluffton, South Carolina, <laughs> not Bluffton, Indiana. Yeah, so. that's true. All right, let's go get something to eat.
just had a nice lunch in Bluffton and walked around downtown Bluffton. And now, well, we're doing what you always do when you go on vacation. Trip to Lowe's. Patty, they have flowers. I at know. This Lowe's. I know. <laughs> I think I should take one home. You want a fern? No. You something want a palm with tree? Flowers. Oh, you want something with flowers? I see flowers. Ooh, look over here. Aren't those pretty? Well, not a big purchase, but need to fix a blind. And wildflower seed. Think we can get them growing before we leave on Friday? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, we'll take them home. Then. There's so. so many places at home where there's nothing now that maybe it'll grow. Maybe. Or the deer will eat it. Either way, somebody's going to end up happy. You yeah. or them. <laughs> so after we had the uh, Battle Royale with the uh, shade in the RV. What a pain. That was fun, wasn't it? Oh my. It took us, what, three times? I don't know. Ugh. But I think it's fixed. I, think I hope. So. I hope. It's like, leave it in one spot. Don't touch it. That's my theory. Now we're heading to the Tiki Bar. Because you know, the Tiki Bar is open. Okay, we were gonna go swimming. We may still, but <laughs> we didn't make it to the pool. We found boat drinks and appetizers, so what'd you get, Patty? I got a peach daiquiri. Ooh, fancy. It's very good. It's not overly sweet. It's good. It's like refreshing. Land shark. Mm. What do you uh, think of the pimento cheese and chips? Oh my gosh, it is good. These things are like hot. Like hot. Yeah, they're cut. fresh. Yeah. Oh. They're so good. You eat them plain. You think of this pool area. This is yeah, so they have a pool that says it's maximum occupancy is like 854 people. It says. Right. I'd like to see 854 people, but they also have this lazy river. I know. And they got a real nice playground. They've got pickleball courts, shuffleball courts. Tennis. Like this is hoity-toity. Dinner. We got some grilled oysters. These are local oysters. And then I have a half a chicken breast because we're honestly not that hungry after our uh, afternoon snack. So we're going to put this on a salad. This is a cilantro lime half a chicken breast. I still have another half that's even bigger than this piece. Good morning. It is Monday morning and we are out for a walk. Yes. I love the fact that they have these little paths along the side of the campground in the mm -hmm. trees. And we take the pups for walks, and it's shady. It is. It's so nice. It's got little pebbles. It's easy to walk on. These guys just, the smells, they haven't been out months yeah. doing this. So What an amazing resort. This place is. It's so nice. This is the true definition of resort. Some places use the word resort. Very lucrative. This, this is resort. This is resort, <laughs> yeah. I think this might even be fancier than Disney. It so. might be. Got to bed at a decent time last night, hoping to get another good night's sleep, and unfortunately... Little Bessie's tummy was upset. Um, she woke me up, because she whimpers in the night. She woke me up about midnight, then 1.30, then 2.30, and then 5.45. So today, we are going to head out here shortly, and... Uh, Go see what we can find probably have a bite of lunch and then we'll be back this afternoon because they're saying there's another threat of severe weather so we like to be in the trailer with these guys so patty what'd you find i found a shirt from camden maine in Hilton Head. <laughs> yeah, we're at the Goodwill. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It is crazy. <laughs> at only two dollars and eighty nine cents. That's probably about a thirty dollar t shirt probably in Camden, Maine. Cute. Four dollars for this PGA Tour shirt. Or I, I kind of like this Greg Norman. Yeah, Greg Norman shirt. What you got? Columbia. This is Columbia. A large tall. Nice. Let's say it is cute on you, but I know you just don't like. All right, Patty's got our haul. I think we ended up with five shirts and a pair of pants. Yeah, you can't 
beat in Hilton Head and not get a Pittsburgh Penguins. Pittsburgh hockey, Penguins hockey jersey. jersey. Well, that's not really a jersey. It's a t-shirt made to look like a jersey. Starter, Starter brand. Starter brand, though. So we got one, two, three, four shirts, one pair of pants. $20, baby. That's like awesome. I know. That's what happens when your house gets hit by a tree if you start shopping at the Goodwill. Well, and then certain Goodwills are better, and we've been watching that YouTuber and then yeah. find some cool stuff. So there's another one we're gonna hit. Maybe not today. Maybe we'll save it for another day, but there's one on the island that we're gonna check out too. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's go get some lunch. shrimp basket with homemade chips and patty has a garden salad with fried shrimp looks good babe captain woody's that that was honestly i had a shrimp basket it was as good a shrimp i think as i've ever had they were they were so fresh tasting and the batter was super light um really really good patty patty stepped into salon karma to see if she can get a haircut actually i offered to do it myself she said no so We'll see what they say. What'd you find out? Tomorrow at 10. Tomorrow at 10? Yeah. You're gonna get your hair done? Get my hair done tomorrow at 10. Lucky. Cool. Dang it, I wanted to do it. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> you said you have talent, but I'm just a little leery about your talents. All right, let's head to the Oyster Company and okay. see what we can find for dinner. We're okay. gonna grill out again. All right. Okay, we just came out of this little place, the uh, Bluffton Oyster Company, right. right on the water. Got their own boat. And they have a restaurant I noticed. Somewhere in town. Boomers. Yeah. T O O M E R S. We don't need no restaurant. We're gonna cook it ourselves, mm -hmm. aren't we? And it smells amazing, and the folks coming in out says it's awesome. So, so stay with friends. the video if you want to find out what we bought and what we're having for dinner. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of choices. Uh, it's going to be good. <laughs> Assuming the chef doesn't screw it up. Lots of butter. And Old Bay seasoning. All right. We're at the Goodwill Boutique. GW Boutique. Boutique on Hilton Head Island. It's Let's got go rave reviews. It's new. We'll see. We'll see what's in here. See if we can afford anything since it's a boutique. Yeah. I bet they have some stuff that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. Well, not as fruitful as the last one. No. I did get a nice shirt that's actually brand new for $5.99. Yeah. And you got a pair of Talbot, Talbot jeans yeah. for Everything. $6. Six bucks. So, but go. I would say the one off the island, actually the, I thought was nicer. The Palmetto one. Yeah. yeah. Nice yeah I think this, one. I mean, this is supposedly a boutique, boutique, but I I didn't see anything real boutique-ish about it. So if you remember earlier today, we went down to that oyster company and got some oysters. Now these are from Virginia, and I have to tell you what, these are nice. So we got a dozen plus one, she gave me an extra one. And so nice and meaty, nice and juicy. Those ones that were from here for last night were a lot smaller and not nearly as juicy. So I'm excited about these. We're gonna let these just cook a little bit longer, get a little happier, brown up that Parmesan. Mm, mm, mm. Good. These are so good. These are your best, I think, this week so far. <laughs> oh yeah, they're definitely so better. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely better than last night. So, and last you're night using good. these and, are good. Yeah, you're using your bread to then. Uh, uh, there's all this good stuff in here. You gotta get down in there. Butter. No, your arteries are going bloop bloop, but. Mm. Did start storming this afternoon, so we've just been kind of hanging out, but. Now it seems to have slowed down. We're gonna have some dinner, and then I think we're gonna do some laundry, including all those new items we bought at the Goodwill today. So, yeah, that's the plan tonight. Phase two of dinner, look at those shrimp. One pound of local shrimp, and Patty's got the fettuccine Alfredo, which is actually a frozen dish from Trader Joe's. So, it's gonna be dinner. Now, we spent $36 today at the oyster factory it included the dozen of oysters pound of shrimp and a bottle of old bay seasoning so i'd have a way to season these but honestly and even if you throw in say 
I think that fettuccine will say is $5. So we're $41 for dinner tonight, amazing dinner. If we went out to dinner tonight, we'd spend way more than this. There is the finished product. Some fettuccine Alfredo with some fresh grilled shrimp from here mm -hmm. in Hilton Head. Mm -hmm. Came off the boat, Patty. Off the boat. Off the boat. <laughs> Does it get any fresher? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't think so. Not unless you jump in and grab it and eat it right there. And I don't think you're supposed to eat it raw. No. Unless you're what? What animal does that? A whale. A whale. There we go. All right. <laughs> let's dig in.